Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Boswello from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you the drill down uh, capability in Power BI. For those of you that don't know what it is, I'm show you and uh, for those of you that have been using it for a while, I want to show you the update that Microsoft did in the August release this year in 2016. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So what we have here is the Northwind Odate source um, that uh, it is uh, available for everybody to use. Uh, there is a video on that. I will post a link on how you use that data source for your demos or your tests or education. Um, and what we have in this visualization is uh, the year, the quarter, the month, the week, and the day on the x-axis, and then we have total sales. Okay, and this is being sorted by um, the, the year. So what we want to do now is we want to drill down. In Power View in Excel, you can just click on it, and then you will automatically start the drill down functionality. And that was something that I really loved from Power View because it just made the data exploration so much easier. Um, it was very, very intuitive and very powerful way to discover the insights on your data. And unfortunately, with Power BI, you cannot do that. You can do drill downs, but you have to press this button. And if you don't know that, how I mean, it's not intuitive at all, right? So I'm really not happy with this functionality. I'm sure Microsoft had a reason for doing it like this, but I'm hoping that in the near future we can just click on it like Power View does. But this is better than nothing, so it, I'm showing you the functionality. You can start using it now. You just click on it, and there are two ways you can drill down. You can drill down on a specific year. This is 1998. If we click once, we go to the quarter that is here. We click one more time, we go to the month. We click one more time, we go to the week numbers. And then if we click one more time, we go to the date so we can see exactly what was sold every year, quarter, month, week, and day. So this is awesome. If you want to go up, you click on the up arrow, and then we're back in the beginning. So this is one type of drill down, but you can also do another type of drill down. And you access that by clicking these two arrows. And look what happens. What it's doing is it's drilling down, but instead of losing the other years, it's skipping them. So here we have 1996. Quarter 3, quarter 4, 1997, quarter 1, 2, 3. This quarter should have a Q there, but 1998, quarter 1, quarter 2. And then if I click one more time, then it will give me the quarter and the months within the quarter. So quarter 3 had July, August, September, and then you can start seeing trends. And this is very, very useful. So I really like this functionality. And if we click one more time, it will give us the year, the quarter, the month, and the week, right? And then we can again start to see trends. And then when you want to go up, you go up the same way as you did before. Really useful, right? So you can either click down on the year, and drill down on that, or if you click it down here, you will expand and go down. Well, this is uh, all for today. It was a short video, but uh, I'm really hoping that uh, you like the new functionality with the drill down. And if you didn't know about it, that uh, you start using it, it's a really, really powerful way to visualize data. Um, let me know if you like this video. Uh, I would love to hear your comments about uh, anything that you wonder uh, about the videos, about suggestions, about what you would like to see. Uh, let me know either in the comment box or any of the social channels that I've mentioned in the description box.
And uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, on Friday, we have a new DAX Friday where we will go through the calculate function. Have a great evening. Bye.